Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can you hear me or? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will speak about a new technique that uh, we started to use. Uh, injury of the thoracic and the lumbar spine account to more than the 50% of all spine fracture, but we focused that the 17, 90% of the patient without any neurological deficit. And actually, the decision make how to treat is based on two major classification, the AO classification and the Dennis classification based on the mechanism of the injury or the uh, anatomical disruption of the structure. So uh, this is the classification, but in 2009, Vaccaro started or published this new classification based and they introduced three major injury characteristics. It means the injury of morphology, the neurological status, they introduce a new element the posterior uh, ligamentous complex, who uh, is a very important uh, decision make. So they made this uh, uh, surgical uh, score. It means that uh, when the score is a four, in our opinion, this is the field when you can use a minimally invasive surgery. Of course, still now, the screw on the road are the uh, gold standard, but we have another chance. So we start to, to use a minimally, a minimally invasive technique. It means the kyphon, uh, kyphoplasty with the cement or the spine jack that utilize already the cement. But this is what we publish uh, our first 85 patients with a very long-term uh, follow-up. But everybody knows that the cement had some problems or give some problems. And so I uh, focused on the leakage of the cement, the temperature, the rigidity of the vertebra body, and the inert filling material that we put inside the vertebra body. So it means that we start to think how we can solve this problem, how we can obtain a natural healing with one artificial support. So we start, we design, and now we have the, uh, this innovative structure. It's one sphere, porous sphere with a one rigid structure just to avoid the collapse of the microsphere in titanium material. So we can discuss after about uh, this technique. It's one EBM technique, and the te technology is the te synthesization of the titanium. So you can see here the characteristic, the behavior, three millimeters wild with a double structure, trabecular, and the filled structure. We made in 2017 the first test, the biomechanical test in the University of Mabo. You can see here the mechanical compression test, the kyphoplasty uh, with the micro titanium and the post-treatment uh, mechanical test. As you can see, the compression test before and after the uh, technique show that uh, the uh, vertebral body uh, maintain the compression stress similar to a normal uh, vertebral body, and the rigidity of the vertebral body is a similar to a normal vertebral body in, uh, uh, versus the polymethyl metacalate that give a big rigidity of the vertebra. This is the, our biological test made in Pavia, and you can see that about in one month, so all the pores are filled by the uh, osteoblasty inside, and so you have all the pores filling completely. This is our first experience, uh, 10 patients. You can see here the tape fracture, post-traumatic, fresh fracture, 
all patients are without a neurological deficit and without any lesion of the posterior ligament. You can see here the T2, L1, L2, L2 uh, segment. Our evaluation is the VAS, the OD, and so radiologically is the CT, pre, post, and MR before and after six months, the uh, radiological uh, X-ray and one uh, triphase bone scan three months later. Uh, so this is a day, uh, sorry. This is the results of the, the, the sorry, 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 sorry. We have some problems. I can see it started. Okay, you can see here that we introduce a, a cannula via transpedicula, and so we restore the vertebral body with a normal balloon. And after that, bilaterally, of course, the technique. And after the restoration, we start to inject the microsphere with a special gun, and so we feel completely only the, uh, the, the cavity inside the, the, the vertebral ball to maintain and to fill completely the cavity. This is the results at the end of the procedure. And you can see the lateral view and the uh, anterior posterior view. So this is the result in terms of VAS and ADI. You can see how the uh, pain degrees uh, after uh, three months completely. And so here is uh, the uh, results in terms of anterior wall, posterior wall, the um, total uh, vertebral height, and the follow-up of the patient. You have, we have a minimal degrees of the vertebral wall, but this is uh, normal when you treat the trauma patients. So some case here show uh, the results after the uh, technique. This is the lateral view. And this is uh, another case, 62 years of domestic trauma without any neurological depth, a 3.1 fracture. And so, And here, this is the movie during the surgical procedure. You can see, again, the uh, sphere inject. It is, a, it is a special gun inside the vertebral body. And this is the results at the end. You can see here, and the, the patient walk the day after. Another case, this is at a double level. Uh, the uh, NMR show that we have uh, two uh, hyper intensity in two different in two uh, vertebra. And, so, and this is the intraoperative view and so the results after the technique. This is also the CT after. And the question is how we can show that something happened inside the vertebral body. So after three months, we started to perform the uh, scan and you can see that inside the vertebral body, you have a, uh, a special inflammation or a special activity inside the vertebral body. It means that the Osteoblasty are inside that they start to, to produce a normal bone. This is a, again the uh, scan. And so what is clear in conclusion it is that this sphere show one biocompatibility, osteoinductivity of the titanium sphere. 
we have one velcro effect what means in the physical vector effect is it, uh, that the sphere start really united uh, each other so give you one solid conglomerate it is uh, uh, avoid the effect to the pull out uh, of the, the sphere uh, through the cannula or through the pedicle and to give us a, a stability of the vertebral body without modifying the modulus of elasticity. Valid, we have one valid osteointegrative activity confirmed in vitro and in vivo. So we have a, a nice reconstruction of titanium EVM with the with titanium EVM microsphere, one significant reduction of the painless symptom, and so one correction of kyphotic deformity and the early mobilization. So what means that we overcome the disadvantage of the previous technique. They have one osteo-inductive capability. And they provide mechanical characteristics similar of those of healthy bone tissue. In conclusion, our mean when we start to produce this was to have or to give at the uh, vertebra one uh, artificial structure for one uh, natural healing of the vertebral body. Thank you very much.